believe Watson has the potential to transform many industries. There's so much content out there. Information overload is really the problem of our day in many ways. There's lots of data out there. Now the trick is, how do you get intelligence out of it, not just noise? Most of the data that is available today is unstructured data. It's text, written words, spoken words. And that's really where Watson comes in. Consider a human who could read essentially an unlimited number of documents and understand those documents and completely retain all the information in those documents. Now imagine you could ask that person a question. That's essentially what, what this gives you. Watson represents a way to look at all this data and extract the needle in the haystack, the key insight that's useful. While it's playing the game show Jeopardy as its test case, there are lots of other domains where people want questions answered. The currency of financial services is information, and the ability to semantically analyze that, to extract from that what the meaning is, allows you to look at Watson and say, I can change the way I run my business. In the financial world, we, we generate a large amount of data, petabytes worth of data. The amount is growing by about 70% per year. Financial information is not just about numbers, it's about all the information out there that would influence how things would change, how the numbers would change. So it's events, it's people, it's what companies are doing and how they're interacting with other companies. It's news, articles, financial blogs, all that information is in natural language. How do you digest all of that and help make important financial decisions? The recent financial crisis highlights the problems of systemic risk. One thing that causes systemic risk is this interdependency and these failures that start to go like dominoes. And you could use something like Watson to understand what creates those interdependencies. I could just see extensions of this into um, things like private banking, into insurance, into call centers. There's a tremendous amount of data in telephone networks and telephone operating systems. How do I present that data to the end user in a way that they can use it and find real value in it? Watson plays a key role in bridging that gap. It's really gonna change the way businesses interact with their customers and their employees and their partners. So now you can apply it virtually everywhere in the world. In Jeopardy, built into the game is this notion of confidence. And in the real world, there are lots of problems like that. You don't want your doctor to guess. You want him to have confidence in his answer before he decides to give you a treatment. Suppose you're a clinician, a doctor, a nurse trying to diagnose a very complex case. You have some ideas, but in order to confirm your hypothesis, you need a lot of information. The amount of valid, useful information that will make a difference in a patient's life, uh, it just has exploded to the extent that it's impossible to keep up with that. So we need tools that glean the best of that. And most of the data, if you will, on how a patient's doing is in natural language, not coded data. And I think that plays to the strength of Watson. In seconds, doctors everywhere in the world are going to be able to find out what are the best treatments and how do I ensure best outcomes. That's just one example of how we hope to revolutionize entire industries with this new capability. This is the age of big data. And when you have the data and you also have the tools to make sense of the data, you can begin to make things better. Business people would say we can make things more productive, more efficient, more optimized. Others would say we can address some real societal issues. Life is really about questions and answers. But well, Watson can now help us get some of those answers and make us smarter individually, which will then create a smarter planet.